Hi everyone, it's Paul Tilly, and welcome back to another episode of Making Tracks. In this episode, we're going to take a great trip from Clarenville to Trinity. Now, Trinity is one of the prettiest towns in Newfoundland, and it's on the beautiful Bonavista Peninsula. And you can get there very easily by road. You can take the roadway. However, we're going to take the trailway. I got it broken into six parts for you. The first part, we're going to go down, and we're going to go right down to the community of Lethbridge. We've already done a video on going to Lethbridge and I'll put it up in the corner up here. You can link on that. In Lethbridge we're going to go to the Dunrovan. The Dunrovan is a convenience store, gas station, park, great facility down there that I'd like you to check out, particularly for all you campers. And uh, from the Dunrovan we're going to cross the highway there. We're going to go on the Lethbridge Resource Road, which is going to take us 22 kilometers down to Ocean Pond. We're going to turn left at Ocean Pond and head our way back towards the highway. We're going to break out at what's called Rattle Falls, and that will be the next component. Uh, beautiful little uh, water area down there, Rattle Falls, a little river, great little swimming hole. We'll show you that. We're going to leave from Rattle Falls. We're going to go up along the side of the highway. There's a trail that goes up besides the highway. It will bring you down. That's going to go down past Ocean Pond, which is a big uh, big uh, cabin area. Right on down to, again, to meet the highway. And from there, we're going to go in uh, a trailway that's going to bring us into the old Trinity Loop Amusement Park. And from Trinity Loop Amusement Park, then it's just a jaunt out to Trinity. So, come along with us. If you choose to do this, really it's an all-day affair. It's about 90 kilometers one way to get there from here and it's a nice ride make sure you do it on a day that is not too dry because a lot of dust on those roads bring a dust mask give us dusty get some gas at done roving make sure you get a lovely meal for yourself in trinity there's loads of places down there to check out and uh, so anyway without any further ado let's get started thanks for joining us So the first part of the trip is a 27 kilometer trip along the trailway from Clarenville to Lethbridge. It's a well established path and it's really well graded. There's a couple little spots in it that are mm, got to slow down for but otherwise it is a nice little trip. So assuming you start at the Shoal Harbor Causeway you can see here with this very quick view that uh, it's a pretty well established trail. Once you get down to Lethbridge, you've got to go up the side of the highway a little bit. And here we are going up the side. That'll bring you up to the main highway. And then you turn left, that'll bring you to the Dunrovan. Dunrovan, beautiful campground, cabins, everything you'd possibly want is there. Across the street from the Dunrovan, you go down this, this road. It's the Lethbridge Resource Road. Brings you down 22 kilometers. And that's um, a nice little road. Let's take it here. You can get a sense of what it's like some farms and things along here equipment along this road so be careful don't go too fast watch out for the dust make sure you got your mask on if it's a dry day but you can see that it's a very well graded well established road no problem this goes down 22 kilometers and eventually you meet this intersection and when it sees see that you'll see the sign on the left turn left and it'll go up Ocean Pond Road for 12 kilometers and that will bring you out to the highway so here we are coming along the road and you can see again it's a well-established road no problem to drive on it keep to the right watch out for traffic some cabins as we go along here mind children along the way and that will bring you right up to a little waterfalls called Rattle Falls right on the highway there. And Rattle Falls is a nice little place to go in for a dip and a swim and it's a beautiful falls. Take some pictures. Check it out. As you leave Rattle Falls you'll go up alongside the highway. Parallel to the highway there's a trail and it's probably the roughest part of the whole trip getting up through there. And you can see here it's pretty narrow but uh, it goes up just a few kilometers and eventually it'll come back to the highway and you'll see this road going in here past this substation and there you go along 14 kilometers of, of road it, it's really straightforward brings you through some of the prettiest uh, cabin areas uh, ocean pond beautiful cottages beautiful cabins down there some people have campers sent up and you can take that in again be mindful of traffic here and kids and dust in particular this road goes along 
and it will eventually bring you out to the highway again. So it, it darts up to the highway. Once you're at the highway, take time to notice just down the street from here, there is another trail. So once you're on the highway, let's go along here very quickly here now. Be careful, try, turn down there. You're only looking at 100 feet along the highway. That, this trail, brings you right down to the old Trinity Loop. And it's about six kilometer drive. Again, pretty straightforward, not a difficult drive. The old Trinity Loop was originally set up as part of the Bonavista branch line. The idea was that a train couldn't make the grade into Trinity, so this loop was put in place around the pond in order to ensure the train could easily do the grade. It was turned into an amusement park back in the 90s and unfortunately it failed and in 2010 Eeyore washed through here so it did a lot of damage so it's very much a, an abandoned spot. But worth looking around. You'll see this diesel locomotive there that, that was originally used in Millertown of all places, central Newfoundland, to move logs for the A&D company and then it was used to move the, uh, the dam parts for the Exploits Dam. It's worth the tour around there. When you are in Trinity Loop, getting to Trinity is along the roadway and it's just five kilometers, but you gotta be very careful because you're really on roads here and you wanna be pertinent of the laws. And this will bring you down into the beautiful community of Trinity and Trinity, Rising Tide Theater, a great number of restaurants, some beautiful sites, historic properties. It is worth taking a good part of the day to look at it. So there's the trip, 87 kilometers from Clarenville to Trinity. It's 174 kilometers return. Enjoy and uh, be safe. And we'll see you on our next travels. Thanks for watching. I'm Paul Tilly. See you next time.